Hey everyone, Josh here, and today we are going to be taking a quick look at how to upgrade the firmware on your Yealink CP960 conference phone. Just today, yesterday, sometime in the last couple days, the brand new, much anticipated Microsoft Teams firmware landed on the Yealink site, on the support section of their website. For the CP960, the T58A, and the T56A. Today, in this video, we're going to take a look at upgrading our Skype for Business interface on the CP960 to Microsoft Teams. All right, here we are taking a look at the CP960. We are logged in with a personal account rather than a conference room account. And we're going to take a look at what the IP address is of the device so that we can log into the device from the browser on our PC. To find out what the IP address is, we'll click on more at the bottom here. And then we see status right up here. The handy thing about the CP960 is that without having to drill down into the menu, we get a view of what the IP address is right there from the status. And right up at top, on general, same IP that we saw on the previous screen. If I tilt that up, and we can see we've got 10.0.0.11. All right. At this point, we'll go ahead and head back over to the PC and get logged in to the, inter the, uh, the portal for managing this device in your browser. And before we uh, dig into where to get the firmware, let's take a look at the interface for that CP960. As we just looked at on the device, it is 10.0.0.11. If we just browse to HTTPS 10.0.0.11, we get prompted to accept the security warning because the certificate is not a trusted certificate. Um, we log in with the default username and password, and then we are brought to this screen here. So we can see this is all the information about our device at this stage. We're going to update the firmware uh, very soon here. Let's take a look at where we can actually get that firmware. If we head on over to the actual Yealink website at yealink.com, we go under support, and then under documents and software, we can see all these different options. Video, collab, audio conference, desktop, Skype for business. Let's click on the Skype for business IP phone. Now remember, we're upgrading from Skype for Business to the Teams interface. If we look right above here, we see we have Teams IP phone now listed on the website. Underneath the Teams IP phone, we've got the CP960 as well as the T58A and T56A, the new IP phones for Microsoft Teams that Yealink has also demoed at Microsoft Ignite in 2018. Let's click on CP960. Here we see we have a data sheet, we've got release notes, setup and maintenance documents, and then other user documents. We have a brand new firmware release listed right here. So you're simply going to click on it and save. Okay, if we go to settings and then we go over to upgrade, we see that we now have uh, the current firmware version and our hardware version here, we have the option to select an upgrade firmware. Let's go ahead and click browse. And over on my desktop, I've got a um, really quick, uh, there we go, got our CP960. We'll be doing another how-to video, same deal, looking at the T58A. So uh, for now, let's go ahead and open that and click upload. We get a little warning here. It's going to take five minutes and we say okay. Coming back over to the actual device, we can see that the firmware is updating. Uh, per the note that we got on the previous screen, this can take about five minutes or so. Let's go ahead and sit here and wait for this thing to finish up. Take note, you get a warning, please do not power off. And we can see the percentage climbing as far as how much of uh, the download, the firmware upgrade has been downloaded. And we now see that it's installing. Oh, the suspense. Now that the firmware is finished installing, the uh, device is now initializing. We are almost ready to gaze upon the Microsoft Teams interface on the CP960. All right. 
Now we are brought to our initial setting screen. I'm going to tilt this up so that we can see uh, the, the options as they're being chosen. But we've got English there, so I'll click OK on that. And look at that, Microsoft Teams sign-in screen. There you have it. Slide this back out. We click sign in. We are brought to the company portal page here. And there it is. You get the chance to sign in. We'll go ahead and pause this for a moment while I get signed in. All right, I've entered my credentials. It is now finishing signing me in. workplace join action happening. Pardon me while I get that code really quickly and enter it in. Okay, code has been verified. We're now completing the workplace join screen there. Sweet, adding my device to the company portal. Looks like I am being signed in to Microsoft Teams. There we go. We are officially welcomed. We say, got it. We let it know that this is a personal account rather than a shared conference room account. We see our familiar Microsoft Teams crowd of people up top. And finally, there it is. We've got calls, we've got meetings, and we've got voicemail. And if we click over here, we get our menu of all the familiar Teams options. Set our status, put a status message, take a look at the orgs that we're part of, and the settings. Finally, we can sign out. And there it is. We have upgraded our Yealink CP960 to the Microsoft Teams firmware. All right, back at the uh, management screen here after upgrading our device and seeing what that looked like. We'll go ahead and log back in. And our firmware version has been updated. And we should see, uh, we already see that the screen is a different screen altogether from the screen we were looking at a minute ago. Uh, if we compare that to the T58, this is the screen we were looking at before our firmware upgrade. Very similar. We have a whole different layout now with the 960. And there you have it. Pretty short and sweet. Uh, I hope you didn't mind me chopping out various sections of the upgrade process on the device. I, it was true to nature in that it was a five to six minute process, so I wanted to make sure we condensed that for a quick and easy video. Uh, at any rate, I hope this was helpful in A, letting you know that the Microsoft Teams firmware has been released for the Yealink CP960. It is on their website. And B, I hope it shed light on how exactly you can get your devices up, uh, updated. And uh, that is all I've got for today. Thanks. We'll see you here for the next how-to video.